Riley Soiler coming at you with a new food review. Today, I'm in Canary Wharf, and I'm gonna be showcasing a place called Franco Manca, right here on Crossroad Place. Stay tuned, because at the end of this episode, I'm gonna let you know whether to give this place a hit or a miss. Boom. <laughs> So here I am at Franco Manca, pizza restaurant that specializes in sourdough based uh, pizzas. The menu is quite limited. So as you can see here, you've literally got seven different pizzas and they're very, very different. And the toppings are quite limited. So, you know, you can't really go crazy like you would at say, your Pizza Express, Pizza Hut even. But, the pizzas are quite distinctive, quite unique. And today I've decided to go for Gloucester, Old, uh, Spot Ham, Mozzarella, Ricotta, and Wild Mushrooms. I'm here with uh, my mate here, my boy. You know me? He's ready to devour the pizza. You've been here before? No, I've never tried it. No? Never no. tried it. Always wanted to. So I'm looking forward to chopping. I bet you are. So, guys, you know what time it is. It's that time to go to the little boy's room and show you exactly what state it's in. Let's go. So here we are in the little boy's room, or should I say the little boy's and little girl's room because we've got these cubicles and see, female, female, you got male and male. So it's a weird setup here, but um, it's really clean, smells fresh. How do you lock this? Yeah, I've got no complaints. Um, it's a decent size cubicle, got a nice mirror, paper towels, hand dryer, the lock, small basin though. So you can see give it a thumbs up it's that time to go back to the diner space and feast because i am very very hungry let's go My dish finally has arrived, as you can see. I actually took some time for it to arrive. Got to the point where I was about to complain. Just right when I was about to complain, it came. So it took about, I don't know, how long would you say it took? About 15, 20 minutes? Anyway, enough of the talking. Time to dig in. Got my knife, got my fork, got my table manners. Oh. How can I forget? Black pepper. And of course, never complete without some chili oil. Nice. Chili oil. Oh yes. You've got to be generous with it. Now, they give you this pizza, but they don't give you a pizza wheel. You know, or at least cut it into slices. So. I think they should do that. Yeah. Cut at least cut it in slices or provide you with a pizza wall so you can cut it yourself. You're left with just a knife and fork, which isn't really the best way. I mean, this dough is showing a bit of resistance. Eventually get in. And um, hmm. This pizza is super super thin. Super super thin. This is my pathetic attempt of a slice. I think that's delicious guys. Mmm. It's decent. The dough's actually quite chewy. Mm. Wouldn't you say? It's quite chewy. Even though it's thin. Even though it's very thin, it's like super chewy. I guess it must be the it must be the sourdough bread that they use. But this is the type of pizza, I'll be honest. 
it's much easier just eating it with a knife and fork rather than cutting it into slices and eating it like you know the traditional way you would eat a pizza I find it's easier just eating it like this but obviously you're doing it the traditional way I don't know I wouldn't say this particular piece I've got is mind-blowing but would I get it again I would get it again I do feel like it's lacking something like some chilies or some some peppers and that's the thing with um it's quite light with Franco Manca their toppings are very quiet they're quite limited there isn't much going on what's good about it is that it's not too heavy yeah it's a light it's a light pizza it's a very light pizza light medium pizza mm. It's not greasy at all. It's quite clean. It's quite clean. I mean, the dough, I wouldn't even say it's crispy. Not at all. It's just chewy. It's really weird. I think the closest thing I would, I would compare it to is a place called... Huh, I've forgotten now. What is it called? Um, don't worry, it'll come back to me. It'll come back to me. What's the pizza called? I can't remember the name of the pizza. Like ZZ's pieces? No. Pizza Express? No. Prezzo? No. Uh, Wait, hold on. I'll find it out. No pizza? Huh? No. The pizza spot that I was thinking of is Pizza Pilgrims. I'd say Pizza Pilgrims is definitely better than this space. I feel like the flavor profile is better. You've got more variation, you know, more choices of. Uh, of pizzas and even they've got this really really unique dessert and I mean I'm looking at the menu here there's no, dessert. I don't there's no mention of dessert. No dessert none whatsoever nah there is no dessert let's give you pizza and that's it <laughs> it's just pizza strictly pizza and you just got seven different pizzas so it's quite limited I don't know if you're used to going pizza express you might be disappointed but then again I think the pizza is definitely, well, it's not even I think, it is a much better quality uh, dough than Pizza Express. I think the best part of this pizza is definitely the crust. I think that's where it performs the best. In this particular pizza, you can probably see, there's a bits of ricotta, well, you can't even see from here, but bits of ricotta inside the crust itself. I think it works really pretty well. If I was really hungry, I wouldn't be satisfied. But that's just my that's just my preference. I like my food. Oh, definitely. This this to me is more of a uh, afternoon, a brunch. It's a great place for lunch. Yeah, lunch sort of meal. Or you know, if you're not too hungry, you just want something quick to just eat. Just want something quick. It's to not eat. too heavy. But is it evening meal? To sit down, man. For it's dinner, not, to me, it's not that filling. It's not that filling. Yeah, I would agree, definitely. Yeah, it's definitely a nice spot too. It's a nice environment. The only obviously issue was that we had to wait a while for our food. Uh, but considering that it shouldn't I don't think it should have taken that long. Definitely. But the environment's not. nice. The food's nice. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely come here again. You know you can eat that pizza like four bites. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Trying to be nice for the camera, just eat it. <laughs> I'm gonna eat that pizza in about two bites, honestly, two bites. But I'm trying to, I'm trying to be, uh, I'm trying to be conservative and conservative. dignified on camera. Mate, I don't want to show you my true colours. I have to say, I'm, I am disappointed with the portion size of the drink. I think it's really, really small. What is that? Some kind of orange, sparkling squash. And I have to use the knife to get the straw out. Ugh. Draw it. It's silly because the straw is not even long enough to sip it all the way to the bottom. I can't stand these paper straws. I know they say it's good for the environment. But it is cutting down more trees though. Right, my final thoughts on Franco Mancar. So starting with taste, as I mentioned previously, their pizza is similar to Pizza Pilgrims, although I don't think Pizza Pilgrims dough is sourdough based but what i mean is the profile of the pizza so the crust is quite thick for an italian style pizza and then as you make your way into the center it gets really really thin so thin to the point that it's actually soggy not crispy 
So, you know, you're getting a bit of crispy action on the outer edges and then you're getting that soft, chewy, you know, doughy goodness in the middle. Now, one thing I will say about Franco Manca, their menu offering is very, very limited, only six in total. I will say that their, you know, their pizzas are really delicious. And on that basis, I'm going to give Taste a four out of five. When we came in, we were seated almost immediately, but it was a massive wait for the pizzas to arrive. And I don't expect it to take that long. We waited for more than half an hour. So that was actually quite bad, especially when looking around, it wasn't too busy in the space. And once we had our pizzas served, you know, they actually just forgot about us. And also they did mess up my order initially but then actually when they returned it, it came back really quickly. So that's a bit suspicious. But anyway, for customer service, I'm gonna give it an average score of two and a half out of five. I didn't get a good scope of the space. It was quite cramped in there. Like I didn't get a lot of um, space with regards to my seating arrangement. So obviously I had a jacket, I had a bag. It had to be cramped in one corner and it was, it was a little bit awkward eating my food. Like, it would have been nice if there was more space. And I feel like the restaurant as a whole is quite spacious, but I guess they're just cramming too much furnishings in there. Maybe I guess to accommodate more people, but I think they need to think more about the guest experience rather than trying to fit as many people into the space as possible. The lighting was good. It was quite rustic in there. So, you know, on that basis, I think I'm gonna give Ambience an average score of three out of five. I did have a brief look into the kitchen and there wasn't anything shocking or surprising in there. The space was fairly clean. It could have done with a little bit more sprucing up, but um, nothing alarming. The toilets, they were in a very good condition and I love the fact that, you know, you had your own private booth. I think that's a really, really good feature. So all in all, I think cleanliness is good. I'm gonna give it a score of four out of five. Now with Franco Manca, their pizzas average around between say six and seven pounds. There is one pizza, I think it's literally just uh, tomato and mozzarella. That's, I believe it's a fiver, but most of their pizzas are between six and seven pounds. I think that's a decent price, but given the fact that the pizzas are very, very light, and as I was saying previously, you know, it's more for like a light lunch. I wouldn't really peg it as something to go to if you're really hungry for dinner. It's really, really light. So I don't think value is great, but at the same time, I don't think it's so bad. And you can go to other places uh, for pizza and it's significantly more, but then again, you will be more full. So I think for value, I will give the space, I'll give it a three and a half out of five. It's not the best, but well, I say it's not the best in terms of filling you up. In terms of taste, it's really, really good. And I would recommend this space if you don't mind something that's, you know, not too filling or, you know, you're not too hungry. I would definitely recommend this space. So that's going to be the end of my review. If you like the video, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up, comment below, share the video. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I make videos every single week. So... Till next time, peace. Boah.